tutaenda kufanya kazi kule ngambo na wamekuta kwamba kama vile wamenieleza kwamba kuna watu wengi wanajifanya mtu anakuja hapo anajifanya ni fundi wa mawe anaambiwa atengeneze mawe wanakuta halfway through huyu jamaa juu vile anafanya mwingine anajifanya ni fundi wa chuma mwingine anajifanya kwa hivyo wanataka watu ambao wameiva document wengine wamelete wanaonekana tu amefanya hivi lakini akiambiwa afunge waya electrician anashindwa huyu dada amekuja amefanya electrical work ameitimu amefanya stage 1 akaitimu akafanya stage 2 akaitimu amepata kazi kwa hivyo hapa ni kuambia Kenya hapa hapa hakuna kujuana hapa hakuna kujuana tunawaahidi wakamu wa Kenya kwamba wiki tatu na ukuja mimi nitarudi hapa hapa katika regional tours nilete kazi zaidi ndio wa vijana wetu wapate kazi wapate ajira kwa kama bedhe ni job bedhe mungu tuambie ni job le, ni ni legit jusai bedhe tumepiga hapa kama huyu jamaa wangu hapa hivi bedhe amenyoa dread bedhe alikuwa na dread ndio hizi na amenyoa ameshanyoa sasa kila wakati wanatudanganya wana hakuna desk hapa kwa gate watu waambie hapo unaenda hapa na hapa Isi kazi, ini kutupima walikuwa natupima. Inaitwa Kanairo. We, nakwambia hii serikali itatuonesha maneno. So, these advertisements hizi job ambazo zile advertisewa ziko Qatar. Guys, usipoteze pesa yako watu natoa mtu chago. Unamwambia aenda SJKCC siju wapi for hizo interview. Hizo ni just formalities. Easy jobs utaona watu ambao watapatiwa hizo jobs for free ni watu less than 10 wale kuonesha tu hao watu wa Qatar kuwa Yeah tuli, tulifanya recruitment you can see people are coming in large numbers yeah and these are watu ambao tuliwaleta bure hata some of them ndio hapa hebu waulize but in real sense kuna jobs yes government ya Qatar ilitoa ziko zenye ambazo zimemake deal na government ya Kenya but easy jobs watu ambao wana fire recruitment wanajuana hao watu ambao wako huko kwa, kwa ma recruitment agency wa, ma, ma agency wa Kenya na hao wasema wana fire recruitment kwa government ni kitu kimoja hivi hivi Yeah. So, kitu ambao wanafanya, wanaambia agents watafute watu wa hizo jobs then unalipa 160 to 180k. Me I usually really don't speculate. Me by the time we talk of something to we have we have someone ambao ame undergo he na wako kwa ground anakuambia venye vitu inaenda. So, these boys wanaambua wewe fanyeni hivi. Usiwanataka kwenda Qatar? Eh, tafuteni 160k leteni jobs ziko haraka haraka za gava. So, hizi jobs zinauzwa. Si hata unafikiria ni for free. So, usijipeleke hapo mbio mbio alafu cha ungoje hapo. Sasa hizi wana kudisqualify na vitu zingine mbaya mbaya. Hata uja brush meno, hata wamekuja wajava vizuri, hata umekuja uja brush kiatu. Kwani ni Qatar already unaenda? una disqualify watu na jobs mtu hata hajawahi kanyaga hiyo kata si at least unaambia mtu okay this is how you should dress when coming for a interview this is how you should be groomed when unakuja kwa interview kama <laughs> hiyo Kenya yetu ile corruption iko hiyo inchi siyo na hata wewe maliza siyo atuoni hata mtu akumaliza hiyo corruption anytime soon how comes then gava tu na macho yake ngumu in advertise job za bure then inapatia ma agents hiyo kazi Maji ndio recruit watu huko wakitoa wakichukua 160 180000 then hiyo pesa sawa naganya na wale wasi wakupea hizo job so ah watu ambao wamelipa ndio watapata hiyo job kwa sababu for sure kuna lot of parents wenye wako desperate watotoa waende nje watatoa hiyo do as long as job iko na job zenyewe washa, washa sema ziko watatoa hizo do kwa sababu unajua at least hapa hii haitaliwa itaenda bure so maparo anatoa kutoa But sasa wewe mwenyambo umeroka uko umetoka Bungoma umetoka Mombasa siju umetoka Siaya siju wapi huko nyalenda umekuja hapa hati hati umeenda interview <laughs> idea hiyo fe yako umeenda tu ununue njugu ununua mahindi ukula pole pole mwezi mzima acha acha na hizi vitu za gava hizi kama una pesa ile Kenya yetu na mbonga mkono mtupo ulambwe is a matter of who you know morali merudi chini bana <laughs> jambo guys this is your guys ziki karibu kwa show tena So come on subscribe thank you na kama you are a returning subscriber when a member member kama mwas <laughs> karibu kwa show anyway leo nimekuja kuwapeleka na rada eh kuna massive massive recruitment inaendelea pale mtaani Kenya and some of you manze mko very optimistic mko sure mtakuja Doha na some of you mko bahati nasibu and some of you luckily watakam but the thing i want to tell you guys imagine watu watakuja doha na si wewe eh wewe umeenda interview umefanya na si wewe utakuja doha reason being uh, there's a actually post niliona pale tiktok ya naitwa coach patrico coach patrico alisema uh, alisema 
ndio kuna kazi Qatar but it's not free watu wakamkejili wakamwambia wacha wivu wacha sijui kuongea mbaya sijui actually hebu acha kwanza twende kwa comment hata kama ni moja tuseme so alisema uh, nothing is for free in Kenya which is true there's a comment inaitwa huyu jamaa anaitwa Kamala alisema wacha wivu eh yeah. alafu kulikuwa na wengine wasema hapa ati hawataki watu wandevu i think that is very famous mwana hawa watu kwa interview hawataki watu wandevu anataka mtu akona experience ya kuosha hamam <laughs> hamam ni cho <laughs> so mtu anajiuliza sasa ndatoa hiyo experience ya kuosha cho wanakuambia chemicals zingine ujisikia such question kwa agency azinaga azina as making sense but kwa gina such questions ukienda kwa agency pesa yako inaongea kwa agency na wacha ni wachanue kuna kazi Qatar ni ukweli kuna kazi Qatar but the thing is sio Qatar government iko na kazi the the companies which are owned by Qatar government ziko very minimal which means if Kenyans were mesema or Kenyan uh, Mr Alfred Mutua Dr Alfred Mutua mesema ame make agreement with Qatar emba Qatar government that they will Kenya will export and Qatar will import labor from Kenya that is true they have made the agreement but the agreement is not like the Qatar government will give Kenyans jobs no they will issue Kenyan visas unajua hapa what normally happens especially to these countries when you want to import labor from another country what normally happens we want to regulate manpower depending with the country okay mr director uko na mimi kweli mazuba sana so they normally have like a plan example kama wanaweza sema philippines will give uh, 10% of the visas Kenya will give 10% of the visas and then like visa control center or immigration center awaizi pana visa mingi kwa Philippines wapeana visa mingi kwa Kenya and then they forget another other countries kuna Uganda kuna Ethiopia kuna kuna India kuna Nepal kuna Bangladesh so they normally try to make it as as fair as possible so Wakisema nao Kenyan government has made an agreement with the Qatar government that wanna import labor from Kenya it means now they are issuing more visas to private entities so they are issuing more Kenyan visa to private entities na maanisha za kama company yetu right now is employing so initially like uh, maybe one year ago or more than let's say a year ago ndio like more than a year ago ndio wali employ Kenyans ndio wali leta wa Kenya meaning they didn't have visas from Kenya so wakipewa that uh, like wakipewa hiyo how can we how can i put it mm. okay wakipewa visa kama kumi za Kenya then they will go to Kenyan agent waleta hao Kenya kumi Awaindi na hizi visa kumi wapatie Kenyan government waambie nao hizi ni zile agreement mko mmemake na Qatar government give us 10 staff no they will go to Kenyan agent na wataleta watu na watalipa hiyo pesa ya commission hakuna free jobs so sasa ukiambiwa uende pale KICC ufanye interview uambiwa hujapita just note kuna mtu alipita through agent na amekuja kwa ile agreement ya between Kenya na Qatar. So now Qatar is issuing visas to different companies so that they can import labor. Now it seems like wameongeza the percentage of visas for Kenyans. Kama walikuwa wamepeanaga 5% now they have put it to 10 or 15%. Now the number of Kenyans which are being employed in different companies it may increase. Example me in my company where I am working we are different nationalities. Kuna Nepal, kuna India kuna Bangladesh kuna Egypt kuna Tunisia kuna Morocco kuna Lebanon kuna Lebanon kuna Iran so in this like in this company kila company kila kila country imepewa percentage yake ya labor or staff so initially kama tuko tunachezea 1% now it will increase to 2% which is now the Kenyan the Qatar government has now increased the number of Kenyans you can import hope mnanishika kizungu mingi kiswahili mingi but 
hope mnaelewa so hakuna free jobs na wale wenye mnaenda interviews KICC wapi na wapi na wapi ini ini ku brainwash tu wa Kenya ndio they have made the agreement that is true a lie that is true but when it comes now to issuing jobs when you wanaenda hizo interviews si wao wanakuja Qatar as we are talking now kuna Kenyans wanakuja every day every day they are part of that agreement but si wale walienda interview uh, kwa stadiums KICC eh hey, mnadanganywa but amuka tu enda ujaribu bahati yako inshallah maybe out of 10 hakuna mara atachukuliwa out of 100 moja atachukuliwa the rest wanachukuliwa na commission na ni, of course ni agency ndio inafanya recruitment si Kenyan government is not like a Kenyan government exercise there is no free jobs the other thing uh, mr this one actually if you care doctor dr alfred mtua ndio anasema ana ana, ana export labor does this guy knows that uh, Philippines who may make agreement na Qatar about uh, minimum wage? Does he know? Do you know akuna Philippine na nalipo chini 1800? 1800 Qatar real. Either ni cleaner, either ni mboch, either ni security. Like any profession utaanzia kuanzia cheap labor, non-skilled labor, ananza 1900. Akwe ni mjengo, akwe ni nani ananza na 1800. That means the, the, Filipino, the Philippine government has made an agreement with Qatar. They will not give you labor unless you pay my, my country people 1800. Aizi kubali. But our Kenyan government, nasema we are exporting, na alikuwa naongea proudly pale online uh, kwa, kwa TV citizen. Ati ya, tumetuma watu Qatar na the minimum wage, the minimum salary that person will get is 1000. Are you serious? You are making an agreement with Qatar government. No one negotiated the least, the least salary, the least labor, like the cheapest labor. One thousand. Kuna mtu ame negotiate country yake watu wapata 1800. Hakuna mwijipto, hakuna mtunizi, hakuna mmoroko na lipo chini ya 2500. Hakuna. But our Kenyan doctor there, anajita ata daktari. I don't want to mwambia ata anaitu haitu daktari. Ana negotiate a thousand. In the same time, anaskamu wa Kenya na wambia kuna kazi through agent. Which is, kuna already wasi wa shali pia hizo kazi wanakuja. Na mtu tu wajitokeze kwa comment asema alienda kwa hiyo recruitment na kapita interview. Mtu anenda, anenda interview ya, ya plumping. Says the Qatar government are one jobs, the only private entities. Like, as I said, Qatar government, they don't have very, like, big companies. At your saw my letter, at your saw any company as Rekali, Mwingia, any company in Qatar, Qatar Energy, Mwingia, Qatar Sports Center, Mwingia, mm-mm. Hapo Daskia Ali Bin Ali company. Eh, Mohammed Mahmoud company. Akuna, akuna as in Qatar government, akuna kazi, but most of the companies here are private. So those private companies do not employ, and do not a visa in the Qatar government, but they are going through agents. So if you have an agent who employs a broad system, you will interview a gava, you will go to your agency, and you will pay your money. And the other thing is that Kenya is stranded up. If the Qatar government is going to pay for it, Na kuna hawa Kenya wakiridi stranded up a door na wakona ID, they have legal documents. Si wanze na hawa. Eh, hey, si wanze na hawa jama wako hapa stranded. How many people here wako hapa industry? Wakona ID, wakona kila kitu. Si Qatar government iko na, na we have an agreement with Kenyan government. Tuenda hapo, tupewe visa, tufanya kazi. Actually, Qatar government does not sponsor any visas. Unless you are working for the for the government now, the government of Qatar, like certain like to say, Ministry of Labor, Ministry of Roads, who are a kazi, they will sponsor you as government. But akuna ati like a government visa, I don't think so. Akuna government visas, ni all they are private. Lazimu kwe under someone, under a very like a very big company or small company, ata sponsor kuleta kupe kazi na fuate the Qatar labor laws. Yes. The other thing, Dr. Mutua kama ujui, kuna kitu inaitua QDC. Eh? Inaitua QDC. Acha kwanza to Google. Sijui kama unajua. Actually, Dr. Alfred Mutua, you need to do some research. If you have made any any agreement with Qatar, Qatar government, okay? 
I need you to know there's something we call QVC. Kamu go Qatar, some people they know what is QVC. If you go online and try to Google what is QVC, so QVC is a Qatar Visa Center. Qatar Visa Center. These other countries, Philippines, Sri Lanka, India, they have, they have made an agreement, a good agreement with uh, Qatar. And they have introduced something called QVC, Qatar Visa Center, in their countries. So, what is the advantages of QVC in your country? Kwanza wa Kenya wengi, they are normally scammed by agents who are in the medical, and then they wafungulue visa, Qatar. But basically, medical zote za Kenya zi ufanyua Qatar. They, like the actual medicals nafanyua Qatar. But Kenya agents wanakusanya pesa, wanakupeleka medical, na unafika Qatar again you fail. Wanakupeleka medical fake. Unapimwa au piti. Sawa. But wao wana kuonyesha medical ulipita. Ukifika hapa your chest inakuwa 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 confirmed haiko poa unarudishwa Kenya. So in fact ume, ume reduce ume, ume lose pesa kwa hiyo medical ya Kenya unafika Qatar ume lose pesa ya agent na alafu unarudishwa home. Which is okay unaweza do for safety. But Dr. Mutua if you if you made an agreement make sure also you open a QVC center in Kenya. Hiyo inamaanisha nini? QVC center Unamaliza medical kila kitu Kenya. Unenda kwa yo QVC center, you do the medical, you do the fingerprint, inabakisha tu. Una do the biometric, like all paperwork is done from Kenya. So ukifika katari unengia tu kazi. Hakuna kuenda medical, hakuna kuenda any test, so you just come here and receive your residence permit. Only the ID. If you do that, tutajua uko serious. Otherwise, ya TCG umemeka agreement, then it's just a, it's just a joke. Yeah, if you care, I'll, if you care, doctor. <laughs> Niko serious now. <laughs> eh. But no, 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 wale no, 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 Iyo tukisaidiwa Kenya, by the way, Kenya, mbebu mchangia kwa comment. Tukiwana QVC Kenya, tuwakwa tunapoteza do. Kifail medical, unajua umefailia medical Kenya, hakuna kutoka, there's no living your country. So, you will be knowing that you failed. And you, like, ujalipa ta pesa agency, ujatoka Kenya, you can go back to the agency and tell them, nimefail medical, nipatia pesa angu. Hakuna aja kuenda Katari, you fail medical, kirude agency, nikambia iweze kani. So, the best way ni, if they open the QVC in Kenya, so many Kenyans will be able to save their money. Kwanza hii pesa kwenda medical elifu tano, elifu sita, elifu kumi, up to 10,000. Other people are paying, wanadanganyo wa sujui pesa ya medical ya airport. Sujui yellow fever. Katara wa itishagi yellow fever by the way. Ah, the other thing, wale wa Kenya munenda easy interview. The massive interview which is going on. Na unajua una passport. Just be careful. Kama una passport, sa easy, this is the right time. Akina aterere. Atere maani, yee, kame Ivana, sasa haka ni kakazi, yee, sasa, wale wa Kenya, wale wa passport inatoka na wiki moja, passport inatoka na siku moja, <laughs> eee, ati now, unendo unambiwa, au watu sayi wamejaa pale kwa interviews, wanakombia, hauna passport, eee, mimi ni ure mse na tengenezaga, passport na siku moja inatoka, niko na mtu wa dani, dani kabisa, ati, ati good conduct, Inatoka na 24 hours. Be careful na hours hii. Be careful. Lati niko na mtu andani. This is the highest time by them utasikamiwa na hours hii. Utaitishwa do. Ata kuambia nda kurukisha, nda kurukishia date ya passport. Atisa niko na mtu andani. Nda kufanyia passport. I mean the other, the other good conduct itoke mapema. Mimi siji. Yani so many scams inakuja sasa. So kama unajua una passport. Kwa tu mjanja, just know who to trust and just know how to process the document very fast and legi, on a legit way, upa document zako no travel vizuri. And uh, remember also, kwa agents pia kuna maskam, kuna wenye sayi wanajua kazi zimefunguka, katar, but uh, wanaskam watu bado. Kuna kwanza kazi zenye zina kwa gaskam sana ni za madem. Unaambiwa kuna kazi katari ya kilina house to house. House to house. Not that word. House to house. Ni scam bro. Ni scam sis. Be careful.
sawa otherwise uh, thank you so much ah the other thing kama wewe unakunaga kwa agent umeenda kwa agent amekuambia kuna kazi tingoja next week inatoka and kuna kazi na ngoja wewe acha passport hapa guys usiwaachia mtu id yako passport is part of your identification usiwaachia mtu wote id yako passport yako ati unaongojea kazi katari zinakuja hakuna kazi mtu anajua kazi zinakuja next week passport na mwachie afanyie mwachie contact zako mwachie cv na iko na iko na details zako atakupigia passport number muandikia hapo kwa id he will call you or she will call you don't leave your passport behind others unaweza acha passport okay ukienda kesho unapata amefunga passport zina uzangwa zina uzangwa mnaija anachukua anaenda anatumia Uganda ni airport ana expo ana, ana, ana exit anaenda au aruisambu anaenda Europe na passport yako ya kusikwenye unataka travel naambiwa hii passport wewe ni scam wewe ndio unakuwa scam on your passport inakuwa fake so don't leave your passports behind guys kwenye wajanja chanukeni be vigilant in case of anything just ask 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 at least by the ukiuliza hakuna kitu na lose na hata mkiniuliza nikwambie sijui don't blame me naweza kwata mimi sijui but remember to ask just learn from ask from people at least what to people have experience out here someone will be there to share and the other thing is uh, to fit 10k subscribers and then i'll have a gift by then if you get 10k subscribers i will show you what i will give out thank you so much come much back cheers